carefully removed two screws from the original expansion card that came with the Behringer X32 mixer. There's a couple of tabs on the card that makes it really easy to pull it out. Go ahead and slide the new card in. It takes a little bit of finesse, but it goes in easily. There's a couple of grooves on the inside wall there to help you get the card in place. Okay, the card's in place. Go ahead and put the two Phillips head screws back in to secure the card. Now, we've hooked up an external word clock, and this would be useful for something like um, hooking up multiple devices that you want to run off the same clock. In this case, we're using the Black Lion Micro Clock MK2. Now, inside of the, D the Behringer, you want to go to the config page and make sure you select ADAT as the synchronization. And then on the last page of the card, you want to make sure that you have word clock to selected in the sync source and also you want the BNC word clock I.O. to be set to slave mode or input.